That's Sonny Liston to the left of your screen in white trunks. He's going to come out for round one with but one thought on his mind, to knock out Eddie Machen and fight Floyd Patterson for the heavyweight championship of the world. Both of these men are in superb physical condition. Machen is 28 years of age and is 5 feet 11 and a half inches tall. He's been described as a perfect fighting machine, using the classic stand-up boxing style with great effectiveness and with plenty of punch in either hand. Liston is noted for the amazing power he gets behind his long left jab. Everyone agrees it's the best of its kind since the great brown bomber, Joe Lewis, ruled the heavyweights 25 years ago. Watch Sonny get in four punishing body blows. Those punches sap the strength of any fighter, and a boxer like Machen isn't going to get caught like that too often. Liston is six feet one inch tall and weighs 210 pounds this evening. Boxing experts consider Sonny, now 26 years of age, as being in his fighting prime. His style is to press forward, always putting tremendous pressure on whomever he fights. Watch Sonny stick out two long left jabs and then step in with a hard left hook. Liston has KO'd over half of all of his opponents with that same dynamite punch. As we get to the end of round one, this excited crowd knows it's in for a great heavyweight fight. In rounds two, three, and four, Liston was very aggressive, carrying the fight to his opponent, but getting hit with sharp counter punches. Here in round five, it's the excitingly powerful Sonny Liston trying to catch up with the clever boxing, elusive Eddie Machen. Those long, powerful straight lefts by Liston will distract and hurt any fighter and Machen is going to have to counterpunch over that jab. In the past five years, Machen has beaten some of the finest heavyweights in the division. Watch Eddie get in with a solid left hook to Liston's jaw. That kind of punch serves notice to Liston he can't take too many liberties with Machen. Each man is trying to take the offensive away from the other, and Machen is surprising a lot of people with his aggressiveness. The men will go into a clinch, and Machen will spin Liston, trying to knock Sonny off balance. There's no question now, Machen isn't going to be intimidated by Liston. In the past few months, both Alex Mitov and Alonzo Johnson were outboxed all the way by Machen. The previous year, Machen beat Willie Besmanoff and young Jack Johnson. And with knockout victories over Tommy Jackson and Nino Valdez, Eddie's credentials are quite impressive. The men will clinch, and Machen, once again, will spin Liston out of it. Things are really getting rough in there, and while Machen is known as a boxer, he certainly isn't being pushed around. And that's the end of round five, scored evenly by all three officials. Round six was also an even round, with Liston's aggressiveness being thwarted by the shiftiness of the smaller Machen. 
Round seven and eight were also close, with Liston having an edge, although finding it increasingly difficult to land effectively on his faster opponent. Machen has been boxing beautifully, taking advantage of every opening to pop in short, effective punches. Here in round nine, Liston advances once again, seeming even more determined to catch up to his man. Liston has stated that he'll fight any heavyweight, any place, any time. He wants nothing more than to fight champion Floyd Patterson. Sonny has the remarkable record of having 21 knockouts in 28 professional fights. It's no wonder that most of the heavyweights don't embrace the thought of getting in there against this blistering puncher. Sonny slams home a solid left hook to Machen's jaw. Machen has taken those shots very well, unlike many of Liston's past opponents. Watch Liston get in some hard body shots, and Machen will pull Liston into the ropes. It's getting plenty rough in there, and the referee spots Eddie hitting on the break, which infuriates Liston. Liston was established as a five to three favorite this evening, and many of the knowledgeable fight analysts thought that the fight would never go the limit of the scheduled 12 rounds. Machen also is looking for an opportunity to fight Patterson for the heavyweight title. There's no question that a victory over Sonny Liston would establish Eddie as the number one ranking contender in the division. Things get rough again here at the end of round nine, and the round is given to Liston for more effective punching. This is the 12th and final round. Watch Eddie throw a hard left hook and slip to the canvas. That was no knockdown. It's very rough in there with the possibility of the winner of this round taking the fight. It's that close. In rounds 10 and 11, Machen boxed marvelously well, effectively avoiding those fast left hooks and overhand rights thrown by Liston. And he took both rounds by a slight margin. Liston will step in and land a solid left hook to the body. That's a murderous punch. Many of the fans are surprised to see Eddie still in there, fighting smartly and showing tremendous courage here in round 12. Liston presses forward relentlessly. He wants to knock Machen out, and he realizes that he's going to have to put everything into this final round. Liston will shoot out a left jab, but the speedy Machen will counter with a fast left hook. That's where those lightning reflexes of Machen's are paying off. Eddie will land two left hooks, a right uppercut, and another leaping left hook. Machen is going all out. He wants this fight desperately. Liston will land some crushing body blows as Machen tries to tie Sonny up. Sonny can crack a man's ribs with punches like that. Machen's performance has been startling to many of the fans. He was always known as a great boxer, but no one expected he would spend any time actually carrying the fight to Liston.
As the end of round 12 approaches, the crowd realizes that it has seen a marvelous heavyweight contest. The proverbial slugger trying to steamroll an extraordinary boxer. The crowd shows its appreciation with generous applause. Sonny Liston wins the decision and thereby secures his position as number one contender for the heavyweight title. 